Welcome to another Top 10 video from Top10s.net, the ultimate Top 10 list site. Today's topic, Top 10 Most Surprising Things NASA Helped Create. The last time the general public heard much about NASA was back in 2013. You know, as a result of the government shutdown. And you know what? That's a shame. We should be reflecting, if not daily, at least more often on the way that inventions by NASA have helped our daily lives. With that in mind, here are 10 inventions by NASA that we believe will surprise you the most. Number 10. Sunglasses. Mostly when we think about the dangers of NASA, we think about the ones faced by the astronauts. And with good reason, you know, it's the most dangerous job. But the scientists who send them out into space can face some pretty significant dangers too. Especially to their vision. Those on the ground are often exposed to powerful flashes, lasers, welding flares, and so on. So NASA developed something to protect their vision. They studied raptors, the, the, the birds, not the dinosaurs, and found they have a special oil in their eyes that protects them from harmful wavelengths. They mimic that by using dyes and zinc oxide, which filtered out the damaging UV light. After they created the technology for their staff, they used it to develop sunglasses to protect the rest of the world from the sun's harmful rays. Number 9. Water Purification More and more people these days have water purifiers in their kitchens. They may be necessary, depending on where you live. If you happen to live in the International Space Station, water purification is imperative. Previously, it could cost up to $60 million just to get water up to the International Space Station. But seeing as, you know, it's a necessity, it was a cost that had to be endured. But now, thanks to an exciting new process known as forward osmosis, 93% of all water on the space station is recycled, including, well, especially, bodily fluids. Number 8. Cordless Tools This may not seem like a totally revolutionary advancement, but there's a lot more science behind cordless tools than meets the eye. Electric tools used to consume a lot more energy than they do now. So when scientists wanted to take samples from below the surface of the moon, they needed to create small, powerful, and efficient tools that the astronauts could carry. So NASA worked with Black & Decker to create energy-efficient, battery-operated tools for their astronauts, which then went on to be used by the rest of us down here on Earth. Not only are the cordless tools less cumbersome and safer, but they paved the way for other battery-operated technology, which is pretty handy since I don't want to use an extension cord for my iPad. Number 7. Better Baby Food You might be wondering, does NASA have some sort of secret Astro Babies project? Okay, no. But it makes sense that NASA would want to come up with an easy-to-transport, nutrient-rich food. Only, that's not what they were doing when they came up with this Better Baby Food. They were actually trying to come up with ways to create oxygen by photosynthesizing algae. Then they realized that the algae had acids that are found in breast milk. These were adjusted and eventually added to baby food all over the world, greatly improving the health of children everywhere. Number 6. Better Golf Equipment Given that golf is the only sport that's been played on the moon, even though in my opinion it should have been basketball, it makes sense that NASA would be more than happy to work in conjunction with golfers to improve both their worlds. NASA allowed a golfer from the Ben Hogan Company to hit a ball in front of their rapid capture cameras. That allowed engineers from Ben Hogan to analyze the ball's movements and tailor their next ball to suit them. Furthermore, NASA needed a metal that could be easily repaired after damage from space debris. To do this, they created a metal that reverts to its original shape after a little heat has been applied. This development led to golf clubs that flex ever so slightly when swung, but this slight bending is enough to give the golfer much more control over their swing. Number 5. Firefighter Suits Astronauts have to deal with some pretty extreme conditions in space, and so they require a lot of protection. In 1997, two firefighters approached NASA scientists and asked if there was any way they could figure out how to improve firefighters' gear. Heat is the biggest danger posed to firefighters, even the heat generated inside the suit but smoke is a close second. The firefighters reasoned that if NASA could create suits for astronauts, there must be something NASA could make to help firefighters. And they were right. NASA worked with the firefighters to create the supercritical air mobility pack. This small device cools both the firefighter and the air they breathe, and also cleans the air for them. 
It's become a widespread device since the early 2000s. Number four, freeze-dried food. Freeze-dried food can be very important for many people's survival. If you call that survival. While it may be used mostly for frozen dinners, freeze-dried food is an essential part of living for people like, um, backpackers, submarine workers, and astronauts. NASA worked with Oregon Freeze-Dry Inc. in the 1960s. Together they developed a way to freeze-dry foods that, after a simple injection of water, would become edible. Well, edible enough. Number three, camera phone. There was a scientist in 1965 named Eugene Laley from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the same guys who helped make the sunglasses, who came up with a sensor that collects photons and turns them into electrons. The resulting electrical signal is converted into a picture, giving us digital photography. Tiny, durable, and high-quality cameras were crucial to conducting research in space, and Laley had completely revolutionized the way we take photos. He also came up with the word pixel. The already small device grew only smaller, and from the 90s onwards, they were marketed to the general public. So we've taken one of the biggest scientific advances in recent history and used it to upload photos to Instagram to lower their quality. It's estimated that about one third of camera phones use technology developed by NASA. Number two, virtual reality helmets. Virtual reality is one of those advancements that moved quickly and has yet to really take off in a mainstream way. Only a few years ago, we thought we'd soon be sitting in the middle of our favorite sitcoms or wearing a cool helmet to play video games. While this isn't the case, virtual reality can still be fun in places like Disney World or those 4D theaters. While virtual reality has been used to train pilots in flight simulators as early as the 1930s, it was a NASA scientist who developed the helmets in 1985. The helmets were not only fitted with small screens, but were also linked to a computer that could track the movement of the wearer's head, so the images reflected where they would be looking in a real environment. This was a great step forward for the technology, and it was quickly used in training. In fact, it was so good that it is currently being used to train people in CPR. And number one, shoe insoles. Aerogel is a substance developed by the company Aspen Aerogel Incorporated, and it's a very strange substance indeed. It's a lightweight material that has been likened to sponge or styrofoam, and while it shares many characteristics with them, if dropped, it sounds like glass. It's also one of the greatest insulators we have on the planet. In one demonstration, crayons were placed on a thin piece of aerogel and a blowtorch was lit on the other side. The crayons were completely unharmed. As you can imagine, firing a shuttle full of people out of the atmosphere can get a bit hot. So NASA stepped in and helped to develop the product. The result was the aerogel that we have today. And apart from using it on spacecraft, it's sold as a carpet, medical bands, and insoles. It may seem trivial, but aerogel spudginess takes a shocking amount of pressure off your feet and legs enabling you to move around for much longer periods of time, pain-free. For this and other quality lists, visit top10s.net. Music for this video was created by Kevin McLeod. Narration was performed by Dustin Kosky. Thank you.